What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. Today we are making a wonderful appetizer with a little bit of an Indian flair to it. Cornmeal masala roasted Brussels sprouts and we're making a white bean aioli to dip them into. I'm excited. So as always all the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. All right so the first thing you're gonna do is get two bags of Brussels sprouts. You need between one and one and a half pounds. You can get up to two pounds, but first preheat your oven to 400 degrees. All right, now after we've rinsed these and given them a good pat, we're gonna trim these. We're gonna trim the bottoms off a little bit and then take off any leaves that are kind of wilted or just kind of loosely on there. And we're gonna give these one little last pat because we want these to be nice and dry since we're about to dredge them with oil and some flour and cornmeal and all that good stuff. And if some of these are bigger than others, you know, we have some large ones, cut them in half. All right, now we're gonna grab a baking pan. We're gonna line this with foil. Didn't say to do that, but I'm going to because I don't want a big mess. And then we're gonna take two tablespoons of peanut oil, and give it a good smear. All right, now we're gonna place these sprouts in a large bowl. We're gonna sprinkle this with a little bit of salt. And we're going to dust this with a tablespoon of chickpea flour. We're just going to make sure to toss this to make sure it's all good and coated. All right. And in a small bowl, we're going to mix together our cornmeal, chickpea flour, salt, garam masala, ground coriander, cinnamon, cumin, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. All right, now to that, we're going to add our six tablespoons of peanut oil. We're going to crumble this with our fingers. So yeah, this is about to get messy. So it says these are supposed to be crumbs. This is clearly not crumbs. So I think their liquid ratio was off a little bit. I'm gonna add a little more chickpea flour. Maybe a little bit more cornmeal too. It smells good. Getting a little more crumbly, but we are not there yet. Now, it did not say what this texture is supposed to be like, other than using the words crumble. So, I don't feel like we're there yet. All right, we're gonna leave it at this. All right, now, we're gonna add a little bit more. I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, don't even ask me how much I added extra, because I don't know. All right, we're gonna leave it like this. This looks good enough. It's, it's somewhat, cr it's crumbly. Again, they don't say how much crumbly it's supposed to be. So, all right, let's add this, whatever mixture, to our sprouts. And we're just gonna toss these to coat. And if you can't get, obviously we're gonna have some of this left over. We're just gonna sprinkle this on top of the sprouts on the pan if we need to. All right, we're gonna take our pan. I'm gonna mix this oil around a little bit more. But we're gonna toss these, you know, in this oil anyway, so. As if there's not enough oil in this already. We're gonna just move these around a little bit. Make sure they're gonna all get some oil on them. All right, now we're gonna bake these for 25 to 30 minutes. And every 10 minutes or so, we're gonna get in there and give them a good toss. Fun fact! Brussels sprouts are in fact called Brussels sprouts because, you guessed it, their popularity originated in Belgium. And they look like mini cabbages because they are members of the same family. The sprouts grow in helical patterns on long, thick stalks and can produce up to three pounds per stalk. And just one cup of Brussels sprouts contain a whopping 195% of your daily vitamin K along with 125% of your vitamin C, and four grams each of fiber and protein, proving once again, you can get your protein from veggies. Okay, now that that's in the oven, we're gonna start on our white bean aioli. So, first thing we're gonna do is chop six cloves of garlic. All right, now before we get too deep into these garlic cloves, let's go ahead and preheat a small pan over low heat. All right, we're gonna put in our quarter cup of olive oil. 
We're gonna throw in our garlic. And we're just gonna heat this up for a few minutes. We don't wanna brown this. All right, let's go ahead and take our Brussels sprouts out of the oven, give them a good toss. All right, grab a can of navy or great northern beans. Give them a good drain and a rinse. And we're gonna get two tablespoons of lemon juice out of this lemon. Now we're gonna finish our aioli by putting our beans in the food processor, along with our lemon juice and salt and pepper. Now we are going to puree this until smooth. And lastly, we're gonna add our oil and garlic mixture. And puree once again. Oh, if you could smell this and you like garlic, you would be in heaven right now. It smells so garlicky. And refrigerate it until we're ready to use it, which is gonna be really soon. All right. They're smelling quite roasty. Let's take them out. Let's try it. All right, I'm gonna try one of these Brussels sprouts first. Mmm. Nice and tender. The coating is a bit crispy. It's good. They're pretty good. All right, I'm gonna try some of this white bean aioli. These are so good dipped in that. This is so garlicky, you have no idea. If you're gonna make these, make this too. I mean, they didn't mention them going together in the cookbook. I put them together because this garlic aioli white bean dip thing said it would go great with roasted veggies. It's what we have here, and they are correct. It would go really well on a sandwich, too. It's like really garlicky mayonnaise. If your kids hate Brussels sprouts, as most do, make them this. They probably won't even realize that that's what they are, especially if you have this aioli to go with it. The Brussels sprouts don't have like a super Indian taste to it. Like I was expecting it to have the garam masala come through a little bit more. And it's probably because I added a lot more cornmeal and chickpea flour. I kind of diluted some of the spices, I bet. They're still good, they're still flavored well. But if you're like me and you had to add extra stuff, maybe add some more spices to it as well. All in all though, this is a good recipe. It's a great appetizer. I suggest you make it. I hope you liked what you saw today. If you did, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Make sure to subscribe and share and comment and all that good stuff. I'll see y'all next time. Can I just tell you how hard this is? It's hard. Right.